before the dogs come. Hello, everybody. We're sneaking off from the dog park. And our dogs don't even know, do they, Callum? Nope. We're going for a walk and we're talking about habits. Callum says we're going for a walk and we're talking about habits. And Callum and I have just been talking about habits, haven't we, mate? And how things have sort of changed a little bit over the lockdown, which is easing up a little bit. So that's kind of nice. Are you looking forward to going back to school, Callum? Oh, yes. <laughs> I like I like your your presentation voice. It's very nice. <laughs> and um, so we were talking about how things have changed, and uh, I'm speaking to a lot of parents. Amazing parents, by the way. And the habits that have formed that were um, forced upon us, I guess, but that have stayed. And now the tone, my conversations that I'm having on the phone anyway, and in our house too, the, the tone has changed from being one of, oh no, this is hard, this is, and it still is hard for some, but... Uh, this is hard, I, I can't do this, to, oh, well, I'm actually enjoying it. And I know Kim, she's been working with Callum, and she's really loving the connection and the lessons. Um, even though it's still hard, but those once those habits kick in and those systems are in place, things are a lot easier. Um, and, and the panic's over, if you like. And, what, and Callum and I are talking about habits and what habits, Callum, what habit, habits, we'll go up this way, buddy. What habits do you think are important to have? I think my habits are to um, sit still and stay healthy. Stay healthy. And how do we stay healthy? By eating a vegetable. Oh, well, that's one big habit. That Callum had to learn, and he's learning at the moment, aren't you, matey? Yes. To eat healthier and make healthier choices. That's a good one. Well done. What about, what What else? What else? What has changed since we've been in lockdown? Well, you need to wake up early. You need to wake up early. And what else do we do every morning? Um, we have to... Uh, exercise. Yeah, so we go for a, a walk every morning. Which we're doing right now. We go for a walk every morning. And <clears throat> especially with a teenager, it was a little hard to get him out of bed initially. <laughs> but then the habits started to form. And we actually enjoy our time, and especially when there's no one else at the dog park. And now, um... now it's easy to get up, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, well, you true, you were an early riser. So forming those habits. Now, I see this with um, uh, our brain training that we do. And when the students are in, have formed habits, it's a much easier thing to do to get them on task. Same thing with our mindset course. So the habits don't have to be about physical things and getting up and eating food. But they can be about mindset. And one of the big ones is getting rid of, what's that? Okay, here we will. Getting rid of negative talk. Okay, so the I can'ts, the I'm dumbs, the I won'ts, uh, what are they? Negative Nigel words, are they? Yeah. Yeah. So they're negative Nigel words. And if you could put a system in place and have that system work, you can get rid of those negative words, which is, it's an effort, but if you can do it for 21 days, you can start to break those habits, build an awareness, and then kids start to change what they say, and they, they start not to use those words, and they learn alternatives to those words, and then, this is, Callum wanted me to show you the old velodrome. It's a bit weedy. So once we change our words and we break that habit of going straight to the I can'ts and that perfectionist mode, we can then 
we can then start changing the way we think. So we change our words, we change our thoughts, and then we change our actions. And then it's the I cans instead of the I can't. So, and that's what we do with Superhero University, implementing strategies and systems that change those negative thoughts and, and habits. Okay? Yes, mate, what? Ah, uh, no, we, we'll go back this way. Okay? So, yeah, one of the big things. So, it's, but habits everywhere. And we can change them. I'm doing a 21-day push-up challenge at the moment. And I'm sore than I thought I would be. Um, what did we do? We did 180, 180 yesterday. We've got 155 to do today. And, yes, golly, <laughs> it surprised me. You don't have to do them all at once. You do them in little chunks, but still, it's taking it out of my, my chest region. Um, but it's good. So I'm changing a habit. And I, the goal for Angus and I is to have this continually going. Hello, my boy. Look how happy he is to see me. Hello. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, that's my little spiel on habits today. Come on, come on. Come on. And if you can see something, a little, something you want to change, think about what systems you could put in place and how to go about that. And someone's just, I thought he'd kick the footy at me, but I can't see. Got a bit scared there. Um, all right, over and out. Have a great day. Hello, Emma. Say hi to Emma. Hi, Emma. And say bye to Emma. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>